But it's interesting because the next guy that we're talking about, Austin Eckler, has a lot of similarities, and yet I'm I'm down on him, right? The the one year, not a lot of tread on the tire, right? You might be uh, 25, 26 years old, which you know is starting shockingly to become older for a running back. But neither one of these guys has a lot of work on their tires. They both just got paid uh, to be quality backs, you know, the presumed starter this next year after dominating for fantasy. But I believe that what you saw in Drake and his usage last year is, you know, everything that the that the Cardinals have done says that's what we want more of. Whereas, you know, with uh, the Chargers and Eckler, they signed him but they're changing the quarterback. I don't believe that he will be as good for fantasy without the pass catching work. And I don't think the pass catching work is going to be there with Tyrod Taylor as much. Oh. So th that's why I'm low. I'm, I've got Austin Eckler at 22. Mike, you've got him at uh, as RB 12. Yeah. Andy as RB 15. So tell me why I'm wrong on, on Eckler. Yeah, I mean, I just don't think – I think he will be heavily involved in the, the pass catching work. Eckler is the kind of player in fantasy where – you never quite know why he always finishes every single week <laughs> where he does. It takes very few touches for a player like Austin Eckler. So a four-year, $24 million contract for me, I'm not worried about – not not wildly worried about the Rivers leaving and then Tyrod for a couple games and maybe Herbert comes in. The game plan is going to be to get the ball to Austin Eckler. So they yeah. still play the same amount of minutes no matter what quarterback's out there. So I have more confidence that at this point in time, I'm just buying into the fact that Eckler is productive in fantasy and um, this team wasn't good. They drafted where they drafted for a reason. So they weren't a very good team last year, yet Eckler was still very valuable and they didn't do anything in the draft that pushed me away from Eckler and Dynasty. Uh, he is not prototypical for a running back. He is not what you... It's a lot more comfortable for me when I slide in a running back one or a running back two when I know that they have you know, 15, 16 carries coming and will be used on third down and I can just project it that way. But I don't know. I feel like I've learned my lesson with Eckler. And it don't, don't forget those first four weeks, Austin Eckler was averaging 14 carries a game. Like they weren't afraid to have him be the full town without the, Melvin the Gordon there. Yeah, yeah. Without they, they made him the full time three down guy. Like Justin Jackson was in there getting a handful of touches uh, during that time period, but Austin Eckler was th the dude, and uh, Josh Kelly, maybe. Uh, but Josh he was a Jackson fourth. is more of a threat. Uh, yeah, it's it's to be debated because because Kelly out of UCLA is the more prototypical. He's the guy you were talking about, Andy. Like he's the bigger guy that maybe he comes in and takes Melvin that Melvin Gordon role, but he was a fourth round pick. We've seen the hit rate for players drafted in the fourth round and later I'm all in on Austin Eckler that the talent is proven the money is there the the pass catching ability is there he he checks every single box except for maybe he's about 10 pounds lighter than we really want him to be all right uh let's talk about oh by the way dynasty question would you rather have Eckler or the 104 in rookie drafts Ooh, so, put this to the test uh, I would rather have the 104. I would rather have Austin Eckler because the 104 is going to be what Acres. It could be Acres, if, if Dobbins, it were Dobbins, Judy, CD Lamb. All those guys would be uh, in in the you know. I'll take I'll take Eckler over the 104. I'll take Eckler. And you said Jason, you take the 104. I, I would take the 104. It's just a matter of yeah, the, it's, the, it's, just believing that. 30 or 40 targets are going away for Austin Eckler. And I think that <laughs> when that happens... If, if he loses 30 targets, he will still have 78 targets. Yeah, well, I mean, but that's a huge deal since, you know, 900 of his, plus of his yards came through the air. I mean, you lose 30 targets, you're not, you know, you're an RB2. Sure, but okay. he loses 30 targets, but he could also gain 70 carries. So, you know, you look back when Tyrod had LaShawn McCoy in his prime, you know, right. great pass catching back, paid the money, was on the field a whole lot more than Austin Eckler was going to be. He was getting 57 targets, you know, from uh, from Tyrod. So uh, yeah, it's a, also a very different coaching staff. Yeah. Who didn't who didn't just pay Austin Eckler a whole bunch of money. Um, You guys want to move on? Yeah. You guys want, you want, 
keep keep heckling each other. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that video. It would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos. So click subscribe, ring that bell, and make your life a little better today.